Hey everybody, we're asked a lot about our extra 300L and how the smoke system works in it. So we thought today on E3 TV, we're gonna fill the tank, show you how we fill the tank and how the system works. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, everybody, so we're gonna go ahead and fill the tank on our smoke system. Let me talk a little bit about the smoke system. I know there's different ones. There's, you know, dual pump smoke systems where they can pump the oil up in and the other one pumps it out to the, the exhaust. Um, this one is a single pump, reversible pump system with some check valves and some relays. If you wanna see the whole video on the install, check out our YouTube channel. We've got the whole install with Warren Silliers who did an incredible job and you'll see all the details of how he did some extras and things like that. But uh, check that out if you wanna see everything about it. But how this system works is we have two switches, one that arms inside the cockpit, the system, another one that fills the oil that we're gonna do here in a second. And then there's one on the throttle that activates and turns on uh, the smoke off and on when we're flying. So. This system, again, we've got a single pump here, and if you go check out the other video, you'll see it. It's right here. There's check valves on both sides. We have a nine gallon tank that's inside here. Now, the nice thing about this system that we got from Extra is it's a steel tank, but on the inside, or aluminum tank, on the outside is carbon fiber casing, and then there's drains on that. So if anything happened to the inside tank and it started to drip, it won't be inside the cockpit. It'll drip into the outside shell, and from the outside shell, I'll show you on the other side that it'll drip from out there and uh, you know that there's a problem with the system. So we got a nine gallon tank up here. It's above the Acro fuel tank. And then we're gonna pump five gallons up into here now. From there, when we're not in the fill mode, which you'll see in the cockpit here, it uh, runs reversed because the relays know that. And then it pumps the oil from here down into the system. Let's go down here and take a look. So it comes down into pipes, hoses into the exhaust. And then inside the exhaust, fortunately, Extra sends these planes with the housing for the, uh, the nozzle, basically, that goes in there already in the exhaust. So we put that nozzle in there. However, it's been highly modified by Warren Silliers, and you want to see the video of how he does it, why he does it. Because when we fly, we can go on one exhaust, one tube, and get a better oil, not even an oil flow, just it atomizes better based on how he kind of modifies the, the nozzle and stuff like that. So we don't use as much oil as, as some others that just put the nozzle in and just go. So check out that video and you'll see that more. We use this oil from a great partner, Aviation Oil Outlet. We'll put a link down below. And this, this is called Blue Sky. It's white lightning smoke oil. The reason I like this oil is, uh, first of all, it's lighter. It uh, burns so nice. The plane is less dirty with this oil for some reason. And I think it also has to do with how Warren has modified uh, the system here. We don't use as much smoke oil. White Lightning smoke oil from Aviation Oil Outlet. And I don't have to wipe down the plane as much as I used to have to with other oils. So this has been great, check them out. And then the tube comes from here up into this little fitting. And this is what pumps it up into the tank. Now, if we go back up top here, the tank has a float valve up in the very top of it. So when we turn that switch on to start pumping the oil up into this tank, it stops when it's full. So we don't have to worry about overflowing or anything like that. It just goes until either this is empty or the float switch is full. I typically don't put all nine gallons in. I usually typically put a five gallon jug in and that does a good solid 20, 25 minutes of smoke on for us. Um, and you'll see that in some of the videos, we'll roll it in there and you can show you how nice and white this smoke is with how Warren Sillier has modified the system. So, that's the base of this system. So let's uh, get in the cockpit. We'll go ahead and flip those switches and we'll start pumping the oil up in there. See you in a minute. We got the pump on, you can probably hear it. So it's actually in reverse mode and sucking up into the tank. We'll just let this go for a few minutes until it finishes pulling this five gallons in or the float switch flips and stops it. But for now, pumping up in the system. That's how easy this is. And uh, we'll be back to you as soon as it's done. So these are the two hoses and vents that I had talked about. One is a drain 
and that drain actually goes to the outer shell of the aluminum tank and that way there if the tank ruptured it won't be in the cockpit it'll drain here and then we'll know there's a problem the other one's an air vent to the lines and it goes up to the tank to give air as it's pumping out into the system so drains and air vents into the system are showing right here so this now becomes part of our pre-flight check we want to check these make sure there's nothing on them that they're nice and clean which they are and then also underneath here is another drain that's added so it's another valve like you see here for our fuel checks now there's one in the middle that's the load point drain for the oil system so if we have to drain the oil system it's right here underneath and it looks just like our check valves so that's the side of the plane i think it's almost done filling so let's go check it out all right so i'm tipping this trying to get every bit i can out of the tank it only took a you know maybe a couple minutes for this to uh finish up and it looks like we got everything out of it so i'm gonna go ahead and turn the switches off and uh we'll see you when we're done show you how the rest of the system works all right that's it that's how easy it is to fill this system from extra only a couple of minutes we're done up and running one hose oil special thanks to aviation oil outlet who uh, we get our oil from and from banyan air service who helps us with our hangers and support so go check out the other video where we do the whole breakdown all the panels are off all the shells off and we're installing the system so you can really see the details of how all the wiring and all the plumbing work so until then we'll see you on the next video take care